cutting board recipes. Hi, I'm Molly. Welcome to my kitchen. Duh. This is What's Up Wednesday. It's been a funny Wednesday. It has. It, it's been a hump day, hump day, hump day, hump day Wednesday. I have to hear about that on Peter's channel, though. Oh, boy. Sounds like we've got all sorts of stuff going on. Charlie's a barking carry it on. And I'm trying to do a uh, cutting board recipe. And I apologize for the barking. Uh, it's, they're out in the yard walking around out there, y'all. Uh, I'm doing other things, keeping the dog agitated. But our cutting board recipes. I am doing, uh, well, I'm not making, I'm just giving you the recipe for it. It is called Creamy Lemon Pie. It will yield two pies. And I'm actually going to tell you where I got this. Uh, and I thought this was interesting. Uh, first of all, uh, the recipe book I got it from is called uh, uh, Sharing Recipes by the Sisters of Old Sardis Holiness Church. And the recipe itself is by a lady named Maxie Smith. I'm sorry, y'all. My first name is Maxie. So when I saw that, I thought, I gotta do this one because uh, we got the same name. Don't have the same last name, but we got the same first name. So, uh, again, this is creamy lemon pie. The ingredients for this pie are two cups of milk, one cup of hot water, four eggs separated. I wrote that on the wrong line, y'all. Okay, let's see. Write that down. Okay, you get four eggs separated. You have yolks. And, and then your whites. For those of y'all who don't know what separated means, it means you separate your yolks from your whites. Okay. Then you have a half a cup of lemon juice, two cups of granulated sugar, plus a, a, a fourth of a cup. Okay, so you have two cups, then you have a fourth of a cup. You need five heaping tablespoons of self-rising flour, one teaspoon of lemon extract, one-fourth cup of butter. So a fourth of a cup of butter is a half a stick. Now the recipe called for margarine. I changed it to butter because I don't use margarine. Okay. Uh, if you use margarine, that's on you. That's your choice. I personally don't use margarine and uh, I don't recommend it to anybody, but uh, that, that's your choice. Uh, you also need two baked deep dish pie crust. Okay. Now the, the directions on here. First of all, bake your pie crust. Line bake them, bake them whatever until you know they're done. Um, then you in a uh, in the top of a double boiler. And when I say a top of a do double boiler, y'all, it does not have to be a double boiler. It can be a metal pan that you set on top of a stir, it can be a glass bowl, it can be whatever you set on top of a, a stir of boiling water to cook with. I mean, it, whatever you use as a double boiler, just we're going to mix this up in the top of it, okay? Okay, you want to mix your flour and your sugar together and then slowly add your milk, hot water, the butter, and the beaten egg yolks. You want to cook this in the in the double boiler until it is thick. Once it is thick, you want to add your lemon juice and your lemon extract to the mixture. You will cook it again until it is thick again. Because once you add the lemon juice and the extract, it's going to thin it out. So you want to cook it until it is thick again. Then you want to take, and once it's thick, pour your mixture into the two pie, uh, baked pie shells. Okay. You want to take your egg whites. You want to beat your egg whites. Then you want to add your fourth of a cup of sugar to the egg whites and beat them until they are stiff. 
This is top pies and brown. And what you'll do to brown them is you'll put them in under the broiler and keep an eye on them because it will take about maybe three, four, five minutes at most to brown your egg whites. If your egg whites do not stiffen after just putting the sugar in there, you can put an eighth of a teaspoon of vinegar or a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar in your egg whites and that will help stabilize them and cause them to get stiff, okay? You want to refrigerate these pies and serve them. I will put the ingredients and the directions at the end of this video. And y'all, if you need to know how to blind bake a pie, crust. Blind bake a pie crust, I will put the link up here somewhere. I think it goes up there. And uh, that will show you how to blind bake a pie crust. It doesn't matter if it's store-bought or homemade, you do it the same way. Okay. Um, you need to know how to make meringue. I have a banana pudding recipe that uses meringue. I will add that also up here so that you can learn how to do the meringue if you need to. Okay. Um, I have not ever made this pie or these pies. They sound good and I may do these and just to see how they turn out because uh, you tear right now. If it sounds good, nine times out of ten it's going to be good. So I thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Recipe's going to follow y'all. Bye.